What's going on friends? So originally I put out this video a couple weeks ago, but a certain someone didn't enjoy the segment I made on them, and they bitched more than I've ever seen a grown man bitch in my entire life, forcing me to take down the video. I didn't want to scrap the entire video, so I re-edited his segment, and if you've already seen this video, please leave it another like, even if it's out of pity, just to give my dying soul some type of hope. So, without further ado, here's this video. What is up, everybody? I've missed the internet. Like, I've missed syphilis. So a lot. Speaking of syphilis, today I thought we'd look at some videos from the retro gaming community. You know, to really make sure we're never again welcome at another gaming convention. And to start things off, I thought we'd head on over to our good friend 16-Bit Pete's channel, formerly known as P-Tech also known as the Eddie Munster of YouTube. So recently, 16-Bit Pete made a portable NES that he somehow built himself, and I thought we'd take a look at it. Um, this is my portable uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. On the one hand, I'm absolutely astonished you were able to make this, Pete. On the other hand, this thing is absolutely hideous. It looks like it gave birth to the custom Game Boy 64-bit for life made a couple years ago. Um, I use a screen that I got from a, um, you can get them online, not eBay. They're the screens that the people use to look behind them when they drive. Rear view camera screen. It's called a rear view camera screen. And no, definitely can't find those on eBay. Got <laughs> Um, the back uses a Famicom clone console that I soldered to the screen and to the controller. Whoa, and I thought the front looked bad. It literally looks like an electronic tumor. It looks like it's one capacitor away from launching nukes in North Korea. It looks like a robot threw up on a slightly uglier robot. It looks like Frankenstein's monster fucked an NES and this was the outcome. Just out of morbid curiosity, please bring this thing on an airplane just to see what would happen. And uh, without further ado, let's test this bad boy out. Uh. Wow, it's so portable it doesn't even fit in frame. Might have to blow on the cartridge here. And the game doesn't even work. Congratulations, Pete. It's a masterpiece. In all seriousness though, Pete's a really good guy. I mean, I'm absolutely astonished he was able to make a portable working NES, because if I tried to make one, not only would I light my house on fire, but I'd kill everyone inside. And even though this system is uglier than I am, it's a working portable NES. And Pete, I give you props for that, because honestly, I didn't think you were capable of such amazing things. So, good work, buddy. Go ahead and check out Pete's channel. I put the description down below. Let's move on. The next YouTuber I want to talk about goes by the name of Shadow the Oblivious. Now, Shadow the Oblivious is a special guy that I found in the comments section of one of our videos. I stumbled on his channel, took a look at a couple of his videos, and I knew I had stumbled across a gold mine. Anyways, we brought Shadow out to Retropalooza last year, and he was the life of the party. He ran around all night long and let every single YouTuber punch him in the nuts for no reason. It's not so far Wow, what a trooper. Now when it comes to Shadow's actual channel, I don't know if watching the content he produces invokes an actual definable human emotion, but whatever it is, I thoroughly enjoy it and I want to keep on watching. Case in point, this is 30 second review featuring Shadow the Oblivious, episode 1. Welcome to 30 second reviews. Today's game, Shadow the Hedgehog. This game is ass. This game is ass on ass. This game is ass on ass up ass with ass for dessert. <laughs> it's my only day one by regret. Hey, watch Cut. it. Scully, what the fuck are you doing in there? None of your damn business. Not really sure what I just watched there, but I wouldn't not call it art. Now, Shadow might not be the most articulated person in the world, but what he lacks in brilliance, he makes up for in passion. And I think this next video really exemplifies Shadow's passion. This is John Riggs sends Shadow a video game, Shadow the Oblivious gets mail. I'm gonna 
put it on camera and open my eyes in three, two, one. No fucking way! Holy shit! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Look at that! <laughs> Don't even try to tell me you would react any differently. At that one moment, every childhood Christmas shadow ever had was summed up into that one video game, and could you really expect a 33-year-old man to act any differently? Now it's not just video games Shadow's passionate about, he also enjoys vintage clothing from the trash. This is Shadow the Oblivious finds a members only jacket in the dumpster. And when I opened up this particular dumpster, inside is this big ass fucking beast. This isn't uh, the whole shebang of uh, this find. Uh, <laughs> quite the haul inside. Piece de resistance. A fucking members only jacket. Let me get in real close, but that shit. Right fucking there. Hopefully the camera is not like unfocusing or whatever. But members only. Holy fucking shit. I think these things are actually worth money. Who the fuck throws away this kind of shit, right? This is my god. Now Shadow's been MIA from YouTube for about 8 months, so if everyone could please go on Shadow's page and leave him some words of encouragement, that would be great. Now before we move on to the next person, I got one more thing about Shadow for you guys. Now it's really hard to explain who Shadow is through just a couple video clips, so this is a little compilation I put together about a year ago, and this is the very best of Shadow the Oblivious. Oh, I just want to <laughs> fucking snap off somebody's fucking <laughs> skull. God rest your soul, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. I have lost my fucking mind. Yeah, I gave you a shout out. <laughs> fucking me in the holes. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, fuck you! Lungs! <laughs> Rip their fucking head off and shove it up their ass! God rest your soul, Grandpa. And do the fucking same! Fuck off! This is a big thank you. So, Sean Long, or RGT85 if you will, is a real good friend of mine. Even though he encouraged me to get blackout drunk at too many games and piss the bed, he's a friend. We came up together in YouTube and where our fans just ask us to send them free shit that we find in the dumpsters. His fans like to proverbially suck his dick and send him video games for free in the mail. And he's got a show called What's in the Box where he parades just that. So let's take a look. What's in the box, man? What's in the f Box comedy. We have a package from Milton to shoebox. Oh man, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a box cutter. All right, we got us we got the box cutter. I always cut towards myself because <laughs> I live life on the edge. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're in. We're in. <laughs> Okay, Dragon Force goes for about $200, Panzer Dragon Saga goes for about $800. There's kids dying from starvation in Africa, 
Half our country's been hit by hurricanes. And random people are going to send Sean Long thousand dollars worth of video games for free. Like, he doesn't need any more video games. Look behind him. There's enough there for Trump to build a wall. And I know what you guys are thinking. Out of all the flavors in the world, why be salty? Well, fuck that. I want those games, and what's more so, I don't want Sean to have them. Hey, Dave, while you're busy being a bitch, I'm busy owning Panzer Dragoon Saga. Suck a dick. And now I'm being taunted in my own video. Will someone please send human feces to Sean's P.O. box? It doesn't even have to be human. It could be dog, cat, horse. I don't care. Just someone please send this man poop. Speaking of poop, I've saved the best for last. Now, whenever I'm feeling down about life, I head on over to Aaron Kasharsky's channel, the game wizard himself. And I don't know if it's actually entertainment I get when I go over to that channel, but when I watch his videos, I don't want to kill myself as much. Or I want to kill myself even more. Not really sure which one it is, but watching his videos have some effect on me where I keep watching for some reason. Kind of like when you drive by a car crash and you can't help but look. But anyways, Aaron's a really good dude. Let me say that and put that one out there. He does what he can to take care of his family and his wife. And he runs a video game store and he yells the word woo a lot. And his mom's really crazy and is involved in all of his business. And Aaron's got this YouTube channel, and the stuff he puts on that channel and the internet is is the word why gets thrown around a lot, and I think that's a good way to describe Aaron's channel. And if you aren't familiar with, with the Game Wizard, I've made a short compilation of Aaron and his crazy mom, and this is the best of Aaron Kosharski. Uh, enjoy it. I'm Eric Kucharski, and today I'm going to show you how to beat the system. Guess what? I spent over $2,000 this month, my entire store, going out of business sale. Woo! How was life in the Kucharski world? A shipment, I got a shipment of Mario 3's coming. Woo! 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 Uh, uh, and the retro. I oh. sure did! How big was my package? Zero. Um, woo! Um, 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 um woo! I got a package today. We have one. another one, Donkey Kong. Another one. We're back in business. All right, let's put it on. The size our new logo. Woo! Woo! Um, 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 and heal. You want GameStop to ban you, period? Yeah. So that's about three years of Aaron's show video game wizard compressed into about 60 seconds. But it's not his video game stuff I wanted to talk about. Did you guys know that Aaron is an incredible rapper and amazing song artist? Well, it's true. This is Aaron's first breakout hit titled Be True to Yourself. Let's take a look. Look all around you, what do you see? I see a big times and the world hurts. Are those human sounds? I don't even know how you can make that noise. I'm I'm honestly a little concerned. This is the best part coming up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Sing along your song with me. You ever get a horrible fleeting thought in your head like, what would happen if I was to just kick this person's baby across the room? Well, this song makes me actually want to go out and punt a baby across a football field. But this song is about 10 years old, so let me cut Aaron a little slack. Let's check out something a little newer. Also, this is from his rap game. As Aaron says himself, he's a better rapper than a singer, so let's give him the benefit of the doubt and check out this next video. This is called Epic Rap Battles, Bob vs. Clem. Epic Rap Battle. Bob versus Well, I'll be 
again! I have several questions. Who's Bob and who's Clem? Also, why is there three of them? I thought it was Bob or Clem. Why are three people on screen? And then, why are the chairs so big in the background? Are they supposed to be little people? I don't even understand what's going on. My name is Clem. Clem is making raps to what we're members. Beat you so bad from July until December. Think you can rap me? Your name is Bob. You have trouble eating corn off the cob. I hate to mention your retardation. You took the words right out of my mouth there, Aaron. What are you doing with your arms? Do you have cerebral palsy? If so, I feel bad. If not, you should feel bad. Hi. Oh my god, this just went from Columbine to 9-11. Why are there four of them now? I feel like he just fucked up his editing and didn't care enough to go back and fix it. But Clem, you're a redneck. Who you calling retarded? Your idea of a sport driving in a circle don't get me started. The way he dances and looks at the camera reminds me of a kid trying to get his mom's attention before he jumps off the diving board. Your beers and your red solos drinking fast brain cells so slow slow. Your rap quality so bad but I'm 4K like GoPro. GoPro definitely does not film in 4K. Alright, I've had enough of this video. I'm losing brain cells and I really didn't have any to spare to begin with. Let's move on to Aaron's last song, and this one's my personal favorite. It's called Do the Daffy. Bet you guys can't wait. In my backyard, I have a little talky. If you see him, then you might be lucky. When he gets dirty, I put him in his baffy. Ain't no duck season, I call him Daffy. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about this. This is art in its truest form. He splash around, takes the water like a duck Flapping his wings runs better than my truck I made a dance, I know that'll make you happy The man loves his pet duck very much I wanted to make a rap song about him Who am I to shit on that? Just flap your wings and do the daffy Do the daffy, do the daffy do, do, do the daffy Flap your wings, it'll make you feel happy Do the daffy, do, do, do the daffy Flap your wings, it'll make you feel happy. This song is retardedly catchy. Mama K sighting in three, two, one. Bottle like a penguin, but that's not it. We walk in web feet and clean for a bit. Eating crack corn and sunflower seeds. But in the air, getting ready to do a deed. Fun fact Aaron's pet duck Daffy is now dead. Good night, y'all. Go fuck yourselves.